Good morning, Saints. <clears throat> All right, so Sunday, I had a dream vision. I saw a white horse in a field, and then it jumped from the scene from the white horse. Now, when the white horse was coming towards me, the scene changed to my front porch, and the horse came up on my front porch in a, in a battle stance. And my dog, Stella, she got killed. And uh, it was spiritual warfare, but devil ain't got me like that. Believe that. Uh, Stella was running with the horse, like showing me that the white horse is loose. Okay. Now, before the horse did its uh, battle, like stance and drank water out of Stella's old uh, dog bowl on the front porch. And then, so the next night, I see You Be Ready's page, and he had, the same night I had the dream of the white horse, he had the dream of all four horses, and the first one is what? The white horse. Revelation 6, <clears throat> and I saw when the lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Last year, when I transformed everybody, I, I told everybody, man, get on your righteous path. We're about to be living in the book of Revelation. And then I'm hearing about Terry Bennett's vision and Philip Barnett and then Vicki Parnell and then Franchot Pearson's uh, showing the, the same evidence of other saints that he don't even know I watch. He don't even know that I'm in tune with. But we're getting them at the same time, almost the same day or a day apart, talking about these things. God's pouring his spirit out on us. Like... We don't have, I've been saying, we don't have too much more time. What are y'all doing? Like, also, you need to get you a devotional to read every day, morning and night. Get you your Bible app. It's free 99, like your salvation. And then, you need to read this book. Not only that, hold on, let me show y'all something. In my classes, I'm teaching scripture that is tied in with this book. And look at the colors. It's Tiffany blue and purple. What's invading our nation right now? The Phoenician spirits, the ancient spirits from the biblical times. Are you ready? These two books right here definitely would be worth reading and and. It's, it'll become an eye opener to you on why our politics and people in general is acting the way they're acting. The killings, the, the everything. Like, y'all don't have too much more time, grace time left. <clears throat> I've been witnessing to old friends of mine in Athens, Alabama. Uh, I'm reaching out to as many people as possible to get them ready. Y'all need to watch Prophecy with Stan, like from Prophecy Club. I need to watch Vicky Parnell, Timothy Dixon. Like I've been saying, there's many videos, many months and videos ago. Uh, and, and what's ironic is that French Hot Pearson was showing, uh, you know, King Charles III with his uh, bad angel wings or whatever and, and stepping up. Dude, I, I was revealing that in September. I took pictures of this uh, that they use for idolatry. And it was September 13th or no, September 15th. That's almost, excuse me, that, that's almost three months ago. And it, it's ironic that I'm being led by spirit to only watch certain people on YouTube. I'm not over here 
jump, hop, skip it around. It's only true men and women of God. And then when I see other people talk about false prophets and these people that was copycatting uh, the master's uh, voice prophecy blog, you know, Celestial from New York, and that that other chick that's got the Jamaican accent, I think is Carrie Ann or whatever. She's copycatting her. It's false prophets, man. Y'all, yeah, don't be deceived. Like, y'all gotta know the. And then if I see the wolves in sheep's clothing, I have the authority by God for God from Jesus. Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. I'm going to reveal you. I'm going to expose you. If you don't like it, pray about it. It's like my sister in Christ said, man, yet yeah, once you try some Jesus, you're trying everything else out there. Once you try some Jesus, tell me how it work out. Like a lot of people see the new me and, and, and a quarter of them is like, man, we're, we're proud of you, Rich. Like, keep going. You're doing right. You're living a righteous life now. The others, they, oh, you're not cool no more. You don't sell drugs, get high, blah, blah, blah. And you, you, you know, well, well, I, I put them in my prayer box. Put them in my prayer box. I mean, I've been blessed with this. I've been blessed with all this. I've been blessed. Been blessed. Been blessed. All glory to God. All glory be to God. We don't have too much more time. Like, what y'all gonna do when all, all the saints are gone? What you gonna do when we get persecuted? Huh? Persecutions are coming. Aggressive persecution is coming. I've seen this in a vision. I've been seeing many tribulation visions. Some of them I'll speak on at the right time others i keep to myself unless god tells me exp explain it and tell it some some i'm i'm led to tell and some i'm not it's not the right time yet because i know things that's coming before they come i ain't putting no dates on nothing but for the unbelievers and lukewarm and all the lost yeah, how much more time do you think you're going to keep worshiping these little gods? Huh? How much more time do you got before you you either going to bow to the Antichrist or you're going to bow to the King, King, Lord of Lords, baby? Huh? How much more time you got? Y'all don't have too much more time. I, I changed last year, November 18th. I've been sober. I've been walking in spirit. I try to reach out. I... Talking about my old gangster homies, my homeless people, drug addicts, family members, enemies, friends, family. Like there's many in my circle. If it was to hit right now, y'all in trouble. If it, was, if, if, it was, if Jesus Christ touched down right now, y'all in trouble. I. You know, we as a nation have been dumbed down with false doctrine. We've been dumbed down with church doctrines and, and dates and holidays on a pagan calendar. Y'all need to study the ancient Hebrew calendar. You need to study the ancient history, biblical history. Y'all need to study this so you, you're smarter. And, and, and you're prepared and ready.